Hello and welcome. Today we're going to debug a problem here on the R1T. Yeah, I've seen this before. This is the Rivian fob. This is a two-way fob that communicates with the car when I get close. The car sends out a signal. The receiver in this fob hears it, responds with the appropriate code, and auto opens the Rivian when I walk close. So let's figure out what's going on. I came out and uh, the Rivian's been acting weird. It hasn't opened anything. I'd walk close to it and I'd have pushed the button. Well, I'm right here and it's not opening the Rivian. All right. Well, we're gonna have to figure out what's going on. Let's have a look inside. Let me enable my phone to get into the R1T and we'll have a look at internally to see what it thinks is the matter with this. In looking to see why my fob didn't open the car, guess what? Low battery. I gotta change the battery again. I don't know, this is my second battery in is, what, f six weeks here in the Rivian. I bought two, so I've gotta replace it. The R1T reports low battery. My buddy Greg from Wyoming gifted me this awesome meter. The meter is a auto ranging meter. It does just about everything here. So let's measure this battery here. Gotta kinda hold this down and do this. All right, it's reading, oops, 2.924 volts. It's nominally three volts. Now, with any battery, depending upon how much uh, current you pull out of it, will vary the output voltage. I suspect uh, either the fob is very critical to make sure it's at least 3 volts, or for some reason it's sagging the battery. And I'll do some tests later, but for right now, that's the culprit why the fob has not worked here in the R1T. I will tell you that uh, I don't know if it's uh, protective packaging where they don't want it to short out or whatever, but the cell is sealed within the plastic bubble pack thing and it, uh, it takes quite a bit. So you got to cut it on the side and then rip it. Look, see, it is really sealed in there. Maybe they don't want it to short out or what? I don't know. Anyway, so I got to saw more of it here. Finally got into the battery. Look at that. See, it's completely sealed. Again, I don't know if it's a theft thing or just a safety thing, but it is in there. And this plastic is tough. Yeah, here's what the coin cell looks like. See the plus, that's the larger amount. And then the negative is uh, this side. But if you were to short between the positive and negative, you short the cell out and it's not gonna catch fire, but I think it'll get pretty hot. So to insert the cell is pretty easy. Um, it's got uh, the button side and then the raised side, positive side. Uh, the button center, uh, which is the negative, contacts this uh, contact here, right here. And uh, essentially you uh, just drop it in this way Stick it in, and that's all it's to it. Uh, to put it back together, the uh, case has uh, some grabbers here at the bottom, two on one side and one on the other. The two go in here, in those two little holes, and then the top uh, just clicks down, and that's it. Uh oh. <laughs> The Rivian's out in the driveway. Let's see if I opened up something. All right, let's uh, have a look here. Oh, <laughs> I sure did. Uh, when I push that button, there's small Y. When I push that button, look at, I opened the frunk. So let's shut it.
All right, well, there you have it. And just like that, we've got a good battery and it's showing up green. It's hard to tell in the picture, but it's green and uh, the fob is happy. I better get some more batteries because at this rate, it seems to be burning through them every maybe three months. And uh, while I do drive the car a lot, uh, the uh, technology that's being used uh, is really burning it up. All right, my fob is active again. Of course, if you like this video, give me a like, share it with your friends, and thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the next video.